the House of Wisdom in Baghdad was a center of intellectual activity in the Muslim world, and women were welcome. They came from all over to read and to write and to discuss ideas. Lots of languages were spoken, Arabic, Farsi, Aramaic. Women worked alongside men to advance their communities, contributing to education, medicine, and culture. Women were allowed to pray with men. They participated in commerce. Some of them held political power, sometimes with their husbands, sometimes on their own. Wikipedia does not mention them at all. Every illustration is a man with a beard. So then I thought, I'll try again. I'll move on to the general article about Islamic Golden Age. And I was told improvements to the astrolabe were one of the achievements of this era. Well, I love an astrolabe. I, I, I brought my own replica that I have. I love it. Have a look at it. It's an amazing thing. Um, uh, still in use today. Uh, absolute uh, beauty. So, considered to be the world's oldest astronomical computer because it was used to calculate time and location and direction, it was a programmable device used by astronomers in Europe and the Islamic world from the early Middle Ages. Uh, Muslim world, you can imagine, absolutely vital uh, for determining prayer times, the initial days of Ramadan and Eid. Extremely significant device. What neither the initial article about the Islamic Golden Age nor the one I clicked through for more detail about the astrolabe mentions Maryam al-Astrolabi. You don't think her name by any chance <laughs> is a clue. Her surname indicates her profession. I don't have exact dates for her. We don't have exact dates for her. Um, but in the 10th century, she was a famous maker of astrolabes, a Muslim woman in Aleppo who took the craft of building these exquisite instruments to the next level. The design of the astrolabe required Mariam to work with complex mathematical calculations and precision. She became famous for her intricate and innovative ideas, eventually leading to her employment in the court of the first emir of Aleppo. Over a thousand years later, those who know still speak of her academic brilliance, her exceptionally focused mind. Her significant contributions to astronomy were officially recognized in 1990 when the main belt asteroid 706 Al Ilji was named for her. Uh, I'm going to, oh, it's a, it's a, sorry, it's missing. Oh, it's just, to be honest, it was just a picture of stars. I couldn't find the actual thing. I don't know if you've tried to find a specific star <laughs> on the internet. She's amazing. Check out her specific article in Wikipedia, and the focus is on the fact that Mariam may not have been her real name, and she has inspired a character in the Netflix series Vikings Valhalla. That's it. Well, so, okay, all right, that means some information has been poorly inputted. I need to search again.